Welcome to this review and overview of Steiner Navigator Pro 7x30 marine binoculars without compass. So you probably know Steiner binoculars, especially if you are looking at videos of uh, marine binoculars because they are an absolute leader, market leader in this segment. They are also the first who basically started to produce binoculars with integrated compass and intended for marine use. But Steiner is much more than that. They also produce a lot of military optics, so military binoculars. And they also produce hunting optics and they produce uh, binoculars for, for birders, for outdoor enthusiasts and, and basically everyone. They are one of the biggest producers of binoculars in Germany, that means also in Europe. And the company itself was formed in 1947, so just behind, uh, after the Second World War. And soon, really soon, I think also already in the 50s or 60s, they started to produce uh, binoculars for the military. And later they started to produce the binoculars for the marine use, where they are still, I'm sure, the biggest producer in the world, or at least the most famous one and the biggest brand. Um, like in any line of products that Steiner does, also in the marine uh, line of products, they have three different series. So basically they have the Navigator, which starts at around 360 euros uh, for this model 7x30 without the compass. And then the series itself has four models, 7x30 with compass and without compass, and 7x50 with compass and without compass. And the most expensive model is around 580 euros. Uh, then one step further, around 1,000 euros, so between 800 and 1,200 euros, it depends. They have the same uh, configurations, but the Navigator um, series. So the Navigator 7x30 with or without compass and Navigator 7x50 with and without compass. And then at around 2,000 euros they have the Commander Global and Commander with an integrated laser rangefinder. Both of them in 7x50 configuration. So what Steiner is doing, like in, in every single category of products, they're producing different products for different users with different needs. So if we look at Navigator, it gives you the basics, basic features that you need from a marine binoculars. And then with Commander, you get better optics, you get some additional features, some additional technologies, and those are meant for more I would say m more prolonged use and more often use. So for someone who is uh, on the boat every day, they expect that they will ex they will invest 1,200 euros in their binoculars because they're using it every day. But for the navigators, I think that they presume that people who use the marine binoculars, let's say two or three or maybe four weeks a year, will not be willing to spend twice or three times as much money for a piece of equipment that will not be used that often. Uh, and honestly speaking, someone who is not really almost a professional user will also not know how to, to cherish all the additional features and all the additional technologies. And then with the Commander Global, they're basically targeting the most advanced users who will know how to use every single features and who will benefit from any, every single technology in their products. Uh, what is really special with uh, Commander Global is that uh, its compass works globally and anywhere in the world it works the same, which is, uh, I think, the only product of this type on the civil market. But let's go with this Navigator 7x30. This is the most compact model among all marine models made by Steiner, also the lightest. So it weights only 500 grams, around 536 grams if we are exact, and it's very small. So 17 centimeters, 16 centimeters in width and approximately 10 centimeters, 11 centimeters in height. Really, really compact. When you compare it with 7x50 navigators or commanders, it looks like a midget. It's almost like a pocket binocular compared to those because those binoculars are all around 1.2 kilograms and are really, really huge. Please check other reviews which I made about them. So similarly, like all those binoculars, these are also made uh, from Macrolon, a special material used for the housing. And Steiner has a really a lot of experience with this material. So they produce binoculars which are really robust. And this Navigator is no exception to this rule. 
So really robust, 100% waterproof. It can be submerged down to three meters and it will still work without a problem. And also it will work at minus 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to plus 70. Plus 70, it's important because these binoculars will be used on the sun a lot. And what you also see, not only the macrolon, which is a, almost a signature material from Steiner, the styling is also obviously Steiner. And for myself personally, one of the nicest designs you're able to see in marine binoculars. Um, it's also a very distinct design. Immediately when you see these binoculars, even if you don't see any logo anywhere, let's say like this, you know it's made by Steiner. Um, what is also great with Steiner is the click lock system. So it's really easy to set the carrying strap. You just push this in like this and you're ready to go. Uh, not ma many people notice how important such small details are, are until they're using the binoculars in the field and then they see that the way the carrying strap attaches to the binoculars is really important how easily it is uh, to use these binoculars and this is not a small thing. So this patented system, the click lock system, is one of the greatest, greatest features of, the, of this uh, Steiner binoculars. What is also very interesting is the dual valve system for the nitrogen filling. Uh, it's a fancy name for the patent that uh, Steiner did, but uh, what's behind is that uh, they will never leak nitrogen, so they will never fog inside. So this again speaks about the build quality. And we are talking about the binoculars which cost uh, 359 euros in retail and which are made in Germany. So honestly speaking, the price is unbelievable, affor unbelievably affordable for this, types, uh, this type of binoculars and for this quality. Uh, they're made in Germany and they come with 10 years warranty. What is also very great uh, with them is that the warranty, when it ends, they still provide service. Uh, for them. So you're able to send them back to the factory and they will repair anything on them even after this 10 years period. And their service is one of the best in the industries. In the industry. So a really big plus. The eyepieces, if I go to the next, um, I would say features, they feature sport autofocus system by Steiner. That means that you just adjust the diopter of the binoculars once during daytime in good light and then your eyes will focus automatically through the binoculars. There are a couple of pluses with this system. First of all is the really complete waterproofness which is otherwise really hard to achieve with the central focusing and better low light performance because in low light it's hard to focus a lot of times because it's hard to see if, if the object you're observing is in focus or not. With this, you're always in focus because your eyes are focusing. Um, what's the minus of this system is that uh, focusing on really close distances, let's say on five meters or three meters, is a little bit more difficult than with classical central focusing. The eyepieces only have two positions. So this is the twist down position, like this. This is if you use glasses and then without glasses, is this, uh, this is the normal position. Um, the eye relief on them is around 17 millimeters. So even using them with glasses shouldn't be a problem. And together with the binoculars, you're getting a carrying pouch, carrying strap, carrying strap for the bag, the objective, uh, no, the eyepiece lens covers really nice, soft, made from rubber. And normally the lens covers on the objective side, which are attached to the central bridge. Uh, ergonomically, these binoculars are the nicest in this series because even if you have small hands like myself, you're able to really hold them well and they are small enough to put them in any pocket almost. You also get the manual with the warranty and the cleaning cloth together with your binoculars. Okay, uh, last but not least, let's speak a little bit about the optics. So seven times magnification, which is normal for marine binoculars because everything above seven will give you a seasickness. And 30 millimeter lenses, poro prisms in between, quite big poro prisms as you, you're able to compare the size of the lens with the 
you can imagine the poro prism size side in uh, size inside uh, and this gives quite good optical performance especially if we take into account 360 euros retail price the field of view is 123 meters and 1000 meters and the light transmission i would say it's above 90 percent even though we didn't measure it and I, i'm not putting my hand in the fire for it but uh the image is really bright and it should be because the poro prisms and the coatings on these lenses should give you a bright image okay um now it's time for my short summary i i like to say sweet and sour part of this review where i go through the positives and when i go through all the um, features that could have been improved or which i think that will be improved where there's still room for improvement for the next generation so what is really a big plus the size and weight when you compare these binoculars with with their 7 by 50 counterparts they are they're so small and so light that they're really really compact so someone who is going to use them only during daytime who is not a professional sailor and maybe for the ladies it's it's the size and weight it's really really great even though i think that the prisms could have been done a little bit smaller and the whole binoculars could have been done even smaller but uh, i don't i don't see a real need for it uh build quality and standard quality in general uh, when you're buying because no way how we turn it with 360 euros this is an affordable binoculars when you're buying a, affordable binoculars usually they have two years warranty and they don't work much longer with these steiners you're buying something for the next 10 years 20 years maybe even maybe even 30 years because they're really built robust they have really long warranty 10 years for a 360 euros binoculars is almost unseen and they have great service so even if something goes wrong if you i know if the binoculars fall on, on concrete floor they're able to repair them and that's really a great feature what's also a plus is the click lock system and in general the ease of use so when you put them on your eyes you immediately get the picture and it's really easy to use them and the, the optics is for this amount of money it's above average I also think the price it's a really big plus 360 euros for a German made and premium Steiner marine binoculars that's that's really really affordable price okay very still room for improvement field of view 7 by 30 when you when you try the commander 7 by 30 then you see how much better the field of view is there when you're using these binoculars on their on their own if you're not comparing them with, with anything else you will never notice that the field of view is not this go that good because the optics it's it's fine for this price range but when you compare them with something better then you see that the field of view could have been improved the eyepieces if you wear glasses they work normally you put this eyepieces in this position and they work but i don't think this is the best system i think that steiner could figure it out something better even though they have this same or very similar at least in 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 terms of philosophy how this is done uh, very similar eyepieces on all their series also on the most expensive ones what i also think is that uh, if you're buying these binoculars it's always good to consider if you need a compass or not without the compass you get a little bit i would say better field of view because there is no obstruction on the lower part and you get better ergonomics but um, on the other side if you're buying a marine binoculars buy them with, with compass and then you have every all the features that you need or even if you don't need they'll just look cooler to be honest uh, and last but not least i will also suggest that you change this carrying strap which is uh, could have been done better honestly speaking it could have been bigger and nicer change it with a floating carrying strap because even if you will never even if your binoculars are never fall to water the floating carrying uh, strap is so much nicer and so much aesthetically appealing that uh, it makes your binoculars really stand out thank you for watching please check our other views from other navigators and from other commanders uh, or other marine binoculars that we do uh, check our webpage if you need any additional information or send us an email thank you